Hey everybody, B Rad here. Today I'm going to do a little uh, review slash how I uh, go get the logs that I plan on uh, milling up here with an Alaskan mill that I still have to get worked up. But uh, the Harbor Freight Winch is the uh, 2500 pound Badland ATV. The item number is 61840. You can usually find a coupon form. I got this one for I believe $48 uh, with the coupon. It's got 50 feet of line. It's got a remote that works supposedly up to 20 feet. I don't know if it really does, but it does work a little bit uh, far away. So I've got it mounted on my uh, 4x6 trailer that I use. Here you see it up front here. Now, uh, I had to obviously weld some plates and stuff on the trailer frame itself. Used a piece of, uh, I believe, quarter inch plate here. That uh, There's two bolts holding the winch onto the actual plate. You can get to them on each side. Welded the plate to this top rail of angle iron. And then... We've got, I uh, believe it's a piece of one inch tube that I welded from up top there down to the tongue, you know, to keep it from pulling backwards on this angle iron here. And I've got this little piece of, uh, I think it's two by two or inch and a half uh, angle that supports this down to this uh, for the A frame part. But the winch is pretty simple itself, really. It's just, uh, like I said, 2,500 pound, 50 foot of line. It's got a hook here on the end. Works pretty good. The uh, little safety clip spring isn't very good. It likes to bend up pretty easy. But then I just have a piece of 2x2 two two angle iron welded onto the plate to mount the uh, fair lead roller. And, uh, it works all right but from Harbor Freight I believe the lines are four feet long there's your uh, fuse 50 amp so you don't pop it but it usually just has a couple of eyelets on the ends but uh, since I'm running it on my trailer I've got about 20 foot of 10 gauge wire which seems to be about the same size as the wire that's on the winch I think it'd be heavier, but it's not. So that's kind of a downfall. But on the ends of the lines, I just got uh, some cable, battery cable clamps that I can uh, put right on my battery post on my truck. That way you can run it uh, pretty much on any vehicle as long as the uh, wires reach. Then here's the controller box. Right now I just kind of have it tied up on there to keep it from falling off. But you just got your two posts here, uh, your positive and your negative, on the, the winch. Just got them hooked up. Then on this side, this is like your uh, freewheel. You take this. Sometimes you gotta get it unlocked from, gets kind of bound up. You see, you just pull that out and lock it sideways and then you can freewheel the winch out well it's kind of hard the trailer's just up on a bucket but you can just peel out however much you want and then to lock it you just twist it and it goes back in and then if you pull it you can hear it click and then it's locked back you have to use uh, the remote to uh, roll it back in. So I'll uh, get her hooked up to my trailer or to my truck. Sorry, and uh, we'll go see if we can uh, peel some logs up with it. Okay, guys, I'm here at the park where I get me uh, get my ash logs at. They cut them out of the park. So. Uh, Got the winch hooked up to my battery up front, and we'll try to pull this on here.
just gotta hold the remote three seconds to turn it on. This thing's a total pain in the butt. loaded up uh, work pretty good we'll uh, get home and unload it now
All right, got her all strapped down. Uh, we'll see if we can get out of here. There's a little ice on the, uh, the exit here, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully Toyota can make it. Okay, made it home. Still got the log and everything. That's a good thing. I'm just uh, pulling back to where I dumped my logs at. Get out and get the gate here. Okay, squeeze through the gate here. Keep all my uh, logs over here and uh, call it my hobo hut. It's just a PVC hoop house. It looks like it's kind of collapsed. We had about three, four inches of wet snow last week, so it looks like it kind of knocked it over a little bit. But uh, we'll have to fix that. So I'll get backed up here and we'll pull this log off. Okay, I'm going to uh, roll that chain so I can get it hooked up. I usually just hook it down to the pallet here on the back. So if you give me a second, uh, we'll do that real quick. that's on there good enough I don't know if that chain is quite wrapped up tight enough I don't even know if you can see anything but uh, let me let me set the camera down somewhere and okay the log off that's the uh, one we just pulled when I get my tape measure we'll measure it
this isn't the biggest one I've had up there with the Harbor Freight winch. This one here is approximately 17 inches and it's six feet long. It's as long as the trailer. And this is the biggest one. This about did that winch in. And it is uh, 22 inches by six foot. That's about all that little winch could do. And I was dragging it too, so it's pretty much dead weight. But uh, there it is. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Bye.